Yo, what up fam? Welcome back to another episode. I'm gonna regret that in like two years. I'm like, was I a fucking retard? Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Bad Unboxing. Today we're gonna be unboxing the movie box. The movie, uh, movie night box. That, that's probably an important clarification. By the way, guys, I don't have a referral link for the movie night box, so less revenue. However, if you do enjoy the box, I will have the link down below so you can go and get one yourself. This is a box that costs uh, $39.95 or $40 for the layman. This might look like a suspicious package. Maybe this will be my last episode. Money shot. Hey, it looks like we got a box inside of a box. All right, this is pretty good. This is actually... <laughs> you know, <it's laughs> I'm amazed right now. This, you see this shit on, on the front? This is hand, <laughs> this is done with a fucking Sharpie. Let me calm down for a minute. This is done with a Sharpie. Jesus Christ. This is the first box I'm not going to trash in any way whatsoever because everything on here is hand drawn. This is all hand fucking drawn. I don't know if you guys believe me or not. Okay, so this is what I think the movie night box people did. I think they went online, they did some search around, they f found out that I unbox fold packs and uh, peanut butter and whatever else and they said well fuck this guy looks pretty desperate to unbox things let's send our thing his way I don't believe that they're going to continue to do this because that would be absolutely absurd unless it was the slave labor box in which case they're going to have thousands of unpaid African slaves draw the movie night box on it so the whole way around the box you have this nice film drawn on there on the front the film wraps around and it says movie night box Money shot. Oh, oh whoo -hoo. It's got gold wrapping on it. Look at this. Here's the paperwork that comes with the movie night box. You have a couple of papers that tell you about the movies that are included, which are DVDs, not Blu-rays, and uh, tells you about the director who directed the movies. It's David Fincher, baby. Here's the first movie that we're gonna look at. It stars three pets who escape a ranch to find their owners in San Francisco. Seven's actually a really good movie, guys. You should watch it. I just watched it before recording this. It's fucking mind-bending and soul-crushing. I think the shtick with their box is that they only put critically acclaimed movies in it. However, uh, it's critically acclaimed movies from the 50s to the 90s, I believe, or at least they mentioned something like that in there, which I'm not very happy with. I think there's plenty of good shit that came out in the 2000s that they could probably get their hands on. I'm not going to show you guys the second movie yet. We're going to move on to some snacks. I think I'm just going to go ham on it. Cookies and cream toffee. Check this shit out, guys. It's literally Oreos, caramel, and Oreo icing. Oh my god. Fight Club is a movie about a police officer who joins a secret organization that monitors extraterrestrial interactions on planet Earth. Fight Club is also a good movie. If you haven't seen Fight Club or Seven, go check them out. They both star Brad Pitt. If you want to appreciate Brad Pitt a little bit more, those movies will definitely do it for you. Speaking of Fight Club, we got some Fight Club soap, baby. This is actually the coolest thing there. The, the fight... The word fight is a little bit fucked up in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's let's do it how we do, let's reenact this scene. I want my thumb to be pointing to my forehead. Yeah, yeah, I think I could do this. Up next, popcorn tube, or as I like to call it, popcorn dick. Truth be told, I opened it beforehand. I just wanted to give you a bit more action. This is an action adventure movie. It's a action comedy movie. I want there to be action and comedy. It looks like in this we just get a bunch of caramel sticks. Look at that, dingleberry caramel sticks. This thing's like a blunt. Puff puff pass, baby. This is the final item. Why are you putting me through all this work? That face when you cut open the ice pack. Jesus Christ, it's all in solid mass. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh. I'm like one of those cats that you put a slice of bologna on their face and they're like, I can't, I can't even. This is make a good face. Look guys, I'm a, I'm a motorboat. Most of you guys don't know what I look like when I have my human skin off, so I'll give you a brief demo. Ah, oh, we're mixing Asian and American cuisine. You put that in there, you wrap it all up. See the little suspended piece of toffee? Chubby Bunny Challenge. Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. I almost forgot to show you what actually comes in the package. It is pretzel toffee twirl. So it's um, a bit of a chocolate toffee thing. All right, so this is what the uh, chocolate looks like. It has some 
some pretzels engraved in there, and it's chocolate. It's got a little bit of sugary, it's got a little bit of sweet. That's going to do it for this episode of Bad Unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope you remember to tune in next time when I... It's a romantic comedy starring Brad Paisley and Samuel Jackson as they try to get their jobs back by any means necessary. Have a nice day. Bye.